right, it is great to be back and great to be with you this evening. And sorry for that somewhat anticlimactic intro there as far as the guitar playing, but it is what it is. You know, we're slow, dangerous, and getting old, so uh, cut me some slack, please. It has been just a little bit since we've posted, I think about four months. Hopefully that's not too terribly long. A lot of things going on, getting old, priorities are changing. I think we can all understand and appreciate that. Enough with the apologies already. Uh, so what we would like to look at tonight uh, is I recently purchased a Firefly uh, FFLX, I believe it is. And uh, we, we kind of like to talk about these affordable guitars uh, for just a few minutes and then kind of maybe demo this one. Uh, it seems like uh, there is quite a market. Uh, in, actually, there's kind of a YouTube subculture uh, that seems to exist as well on people that are buying uh, affordable guitars. Uh, because let's just face it, we can't all afford to go out and buy a, you know, five thousand uh, dollar Les Paul or a, you know, two thousand dollar Signature Strat or even a nine hundred dollar, you know, Player Strat or eight hundred dollar Player Strat. And those are great instruments, and I've played some of them, and they play really nice. They're definitely nice. Uh, I don't know about you, I can't really afford a John Petrucci, you know, music man or whatever it is. And to be honest with you, even if I could, I'm not even sure that I would. Uh, it just doesn't seem like good stewardship as far as funds. But if you have more money than you know what to do with, go for it. I guess that's great. Uh, but there seems to be an ever-increasing market uh, for high-quality, uh, affordable uh, gu guitars. I don't like to refer to them as cheap. I like to refer to them as affordable. And if we roll the clock back a few years, uh, you know, I bought, uh, purchased probably three, I think, Mitchell guitars, another uh, I traded for. Uh, and I'll have to say, uh, those are some fine playing instruments, and the build quality is, is really not bad at all, uh, especially on the HD400s, kind of the Super Strat. Uh, Power Strat, Super Strat, whatever they call them with uh, the Floyds on them. Those are great guitars, and if you set them up, uh, you know, and, if, and if you set them up properly, uh, you're even going to be in better shape. But uh, nothing wrong with the build quality of those. But it seems like even now uh, that these affordable guitar lines, uh, they're stepping up the production game. Uh, in particular, if you look at someone like Harley Benton, I believe those are available over in Britain or somewhere. I don't know. Uh, I, you know, I just get confused. But anyway, so those have been qu making quite a bit of noise here for the last few years. Uh, the affordability, the playability, the build quality of them. Uh, and also in recent years, Firefly uh, seems to be making a name for themselves, as well as maybe Leo James uh, or West Creek. And so recently, and you know me, I'm usually a day late and a dollar short to these types of things. And once again, I am on this particular issue as well. Uh, so I picked up this Firefly FFLX, which is basically kind of an explorer. And uh, now I, I have made a couple of changes. It did come with, uh, you know, the, I guess it's a TP6. Is that what they call it? And it has the little fine tuners on it. And it just, uh, you know... If you're going to buy one of these, I think you can get a Gibson brand for about 169 bucks or 170 bucks, and I'm sure the machining and everything is going to be a lot better. But if you pay 219 for this guitar, uh, probably this bridge is, I'm sure, going to be a weak point. So we went ahead and replaced it. It seemed like another uh, point of failure, and I just wasn't crazy about it. It seemed like the tuners didn't really want to go all the way down, so that was an issue. And I also changed the machine heads on this and put some Geiger. Uh, locking uh, machine heads on it, which seem to be doing a fair job. I'd say probably really the only problem I'm having with this guitar is probably tuning at this point, and that might just be me, and it might have something to do with the nut. I'm not sure. But real quick, I don't want to uh, uh, labor the point too much. The build quality of these more affordable guitars is it's staggering. It is absolutely staggering. I don't know why, unless it's just because of pride, you know, I don't park my car next to anybody else because I don't want to get a dent. I don't want to get a dent in it, or you know, I need to have a Mac because it's just better than Windows or a PC or whatever. And you know, but if you want to throw down the money for a Gibson or an Epiphone or whatever, that's great. But I'm going to tell you something, and I know I'm no connoisseur of excellence. If you followed my channel, having said that, this thing is absolutely beautiful and built like a tank. Uh, I'm not really going to go over all of the specs. There's some people out there that are a lot more qualified than me and do a little bit more of a deep dive. Outside of the fact that um, 
it is a bone nut. It does have the stainless steel frets with, I guess they call them the ball end. Uh, this is, I would assume, is like a tobacco sunburst finish. Uh, binding, S just staggering appeal uh, as, as far as the look of this instrument. Uh, it looks great. It sounds great, I think, as you're going to hear, or hopefully as you have already heard. And the sound that I'm using is the head rush. I think it's basically a plexi em emulation. It's the same sound I used for everything for the last couple of years, whether it's the Ingve Strat or this. Uh, I really don't vary too much there. Uh, but the action on this thing is, is insane. It's insane. It plays so good. The action is so low. Uh, and I think I've intonated it pretty well. Probably needs a little bit more in the way of a setup. You just can't believe what you get, the value for the amount of money. I think I paid two nineteen for this. This for I think I paid two nineteen for this one, and that was because of this bridge drove up the price a little bit. Typically, they go for about one ninety nine. But as I've looked, and I bought this on Amazon, and they you come in a, a few colors, but they're no longer available. And if you go to Guitars Garden, they're no longer available. Now, I don't really understand dynamically what's going on with this company. I don't know if they do uh, you know, short runs or whatever and then stop producing them or we're having to wait for another shipment or something like that. But right now, the FFLX on their the Guitars Garden website and Amazon, they're out of stock. They're gone. Um, but hopefully they'll come back. If you can find one, I wouldn't hesitate. I absolutely would not hesitate to pull the trigger, so to speak, and to purchase one of these guitars. And also there's a, a, another brand, a West Creek, uh, that makes the West Creek Revenge, and it kind of has a, a purple or a green or maybe a white finish. I'm not sure what the third one is. I actually purchased one of those, and I sent it back, and I kind of wish I had enough, but it was kind of like, you know, I just had too many explorers on board, which you're probably going to see here at some point. Uh, but that was the same deal. I don't think it's the same manufacturer, but the build quality, again, staggering. Uh, the sound, the pickups, the playability, the action, just unbelievable. And I think I purchased that one for $199. Those seem to be gone off of Amazon. Now, you can find either or on eBay, hardly, uh, but they're asking a little bit more money. I think you can still buy the uh, West Creek Revenge explore type guitars I've, I've seen them on aliexpress for free shipping for like 174 you could probably get them on timu i know i saw some channel here recently they're like be careful when you're ordering firefly or west creek off of timu because it may be a fake west creek or a fake firefly and i thought they're already so affordable why would you make a fake one that doesn't even make sense so maybe it's true i don't know uh, but be that as it may, this guitar is absolutely fabulous. It's beautiful. It is an absolute joy and a delight to play this thing. It just plays like butter. I can't emphasize enough. Butter. Action, just as low as can be. A buddy of mine was over yesterday, and we were doing some recording, and uh, he has like 40 guitars. And unlike me, he's not cheap. He has some really, really nice guitars. And he played this one, and he just couldn't believe how well it played and couldn't believe how, how uh, awesome it sounded. So we're going to give you a little bit of example. We're going to play just uh, very quickly with an, uh, no accompaniment, and then we'll try to find some type of backing track and bore you with the same old licks that I always play. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe, please comment, please like it, share it with your friends. And we appreciate you for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your night.